What's up guys, this is Sammy here and today I'm going to show you how to edit like Cole Sprouse. Okay, so Cole Sprouse has more than 10 million followers in Instagram and he always follows a three panel design in Instagram where he posts three same kind of pictures and as we can see that each of his pictures differ a lot. It means he takes portraits with landscapes, with some pictures of clouds, with some dreamy shots, with some shots which have a heavy temperature, which are a bit cold, some black and white, more vintage or retro look and I'm going to use this picture as a reference picture and so let's jump into light. Okay so first I will increase the temperature and increase the vibrance a bit and then I'm going to use the brush tool and keep the feather and flow at 100 and decrease the temperature a little bit and use the brush tool on the man itself because we don't want the man to be so warm in nature we want to be a bit normal so that's why we are reducing the temperature there. as we can see there are sun flares in this picture taken by Cole Sprouse so we are going to add fake sun flares in this picture by using the circular filter First thing we'll do is invert the mask and increase the exposure and the temperature and the saturation because you need to give a bit of warm kind of effect in this picture and keep the feather at 100 because it will give a more natural look to the land area and use the brush tool to erase the portion where the man stands because it will not look good otherwise. Okay, I'm taking the erase tool and erasing the edges because to give a more natural look there. Now we are going to the tone curve and making one point on the lower region and one on the higher region and reducing them both so that it gives a bit of contrast to the image and we are going to change the hue of the garden or the mountains here and reduce the luminance also and for this I use the color picker tool rather than the panels because it is a bit more easier and faster. As there are some haziness in the landscape, we are going to reduce some haze by reducing the dehaze area, which is actually means adding haze, and use the brush tool to paint over that area. Okay, in the split toning part, I am going to keep the shadows at about 8-ish and keep the saturation as low as possible, such as 6. I cannot see that much sharpness in this picture, but I will add a bit of sharpness to give a more better effect. And it is already done most of it and I will reduce the luminance just a little bit because it is looking very bright. So this is the before and after of the image and it is done. Okay so thank you for watching this video and if you want a preset pack of this kind of editing you can leave in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel and contact me in Instagram also and I will send you the If you like the video please subscribe and press the like button because I am a new channel and I need more support from you guys. So until next time, peace out.